you know what's inside your home right now? Do you think you are safe? Are you sure? Don't leave anything to chance. Call the home safety hotline and receive peace of mind. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires, flooding, black mold, metamorphosis. Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. Yeah, this is what I mean by this game is freaking weird. Uh, how about mailbox? We have something new in there. Uh, welcome to the home safety hotline family. We're pleased to have you aboard as our brand new home safety hotline responder. Monday. Wait, I can pause it? Oh, cool. Alright, so what the hell is this? Current callers. Entry inaccessible. One of these is for bed bugs. Small insects known for feeding on- Oh. Hello? Oh, is that Regina? My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here cool. at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problems. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Okay, close. Oh, another call. Hello? John here. My wife insisted I call this number. Dude, it's John Dark Souls! We might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something. Oh, maybe it's just mold. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Let me put you on hold real quick, John. Can I call you Dark Souls? I'm assuming it's going to be quite possibly mold. Most likely mold. Not carpenter ants. Wow, we have a lot of things. What if it's just one singular mold? Okay, and then we submit. Is it I'm assuming this is how you play the game. Info successfully sent to client. Good job. Okay. Hello? Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound. Try the hooch. Uh, it sounds kind of uh -oh. like... You know? It's oh, yeah. Did she say E? I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Mice? May I put you on hold, Please Grace? Hold. I'm assuming it's bees. Oh fuck, it's a gopher. Liddy, you got a gopher in your house, run! I think it's mice probably, right? Small worthless rodents. Hey! What what is that, dude? Oh, audio sample. Dude, this game is so interesting. Okay. Submit answer. I'm gonna say it's mice. That is very racist mice language. And I would know too. It's probably mice, Grace. Can I call you Dark Souls? Hank here. Oh, what's Last up, Hank? I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told. Maybe it's mice. Anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. It's definitely gophers. Tell me what it is, so I can take care of it once and for all. Uh, Hank, may I put you on, on hold, sir? Okay. Uh, small, brown, furry mammals with enlarged front teeth that are known for living in burrows, or most likely moles. 
Because I believe they cause burrows. Yeah, volcano-shaped mounds. They're known to eat insects. Sir, which do you prefer? Cuddly little poisonous moles? Or, um, insects? Weevils. Did you s did you say fucking weevils? I don't think weevils are an option. Sir, I'm gonna assume it is bees. Bees? Yeah, bees nuts. And then I hang up. And then I quit. Mole. And then, so I told the lady, you got bed bugs, but turns out it was mold and she died. <laughs> uh, I hate working here alone. Oh, another caller. Hello? John, John didn't I just call you? I got beef with you. Your people gave oh, sh what? What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bothered, Colin. Which one was he? Oh, did I get it wrong? Fuck. Maybe it was bees. Hello? John? What the? Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Uh-oh. Um. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Huh? I just got pranked by an alien. That was like they're just learning what pranks are and they tried one. And all his alien friends are going, <laughs> That was great. Hello? Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? What do we look like, Craigslist? He said lawn problems? Sir, may I suggest to you moles? Your household hazard, gopher. Why are you calling me, homeless guy? How'd you get this number? Your shift has ended. You have reached the end of your scheduled work session for today. Please clock out below. I got half of them right. Oh, I have something new in my mailbox. This is from Mike. Which one's Mike? Quit before it's too late. You don't know me, but I used to have a, your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not la late to quit freely. Trust me. Is that Mike? Mike Hawk? I remember Mike Hawk used to work here. They said he ended himself. What the? All right, do we have any new entries? Nothing yet. Hello, sir. My name is uh, Regina. Hello, it's Carol again. Your oh, Carol. Oh, sweet. Permissions have been updated. What are our new entries? Stair slugs. What the hell is a What is that? Pipe hob. Oh, it's Mike Hawk. Sorry, I'm calling to see if you Sneezing. like know about anything I can do. To... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything pollen. you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house. I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something. Oh. Because I cannot stop sneezing. Please hold. These nuts. Uh, but for sure, how's it preventing mice? They, oh, they prevent mice from coming out. Guys, if you have a lot of mice, just get yourself a stair slug. But they're fractures and cracks that can lead to foundational issues at home. Like any hob, they also are capable of metamorphosing. Cracks and fractures in the walls. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go wild, right? And I'm gonna say that it is a uh, fracture hob. <laughs> Imagine that's what I tell him. I go, sir, you have a fracture hob. And he goes, I have a fucking what? It's a little guy who gets into your house. Don't approach him. He can metamorphosize. That's gonna be so wrong. When's the paycheck coming? I think at the end of the month. I gotta work 30 days before I get paid for this shit. I get paid $500. He might also have a fracture hob. Oh. Uh oh. Wait, he was also coughing. I think he might have had a fracture hob as well. Household fungus. Small cone like shapes is comfort. 
Hello. Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. Please hold. Um, let me have a look. Is it a fracture hob? Found in the household are small humanoid creatures, gray like bursap, burlap skin, vertical tusks of hair. No false face, they're known for tendency to consume dust, dirt, and commonly sticky substances found on floors and dishes. Cleaning them in the process, they generally come out at night. I think it's that. That sounds pretty, pretty much like what it would be. Let's try common. Not a desk hob. Hello? Can anybody call me, please? Oh, thank God. Yes, hello, it's me. Uh-oh. Hey, Buzz Goober. What the hell? That's lost my sanity. Okay, he called me to say that. What about a house fire? What is that? Yes, hello, it's me. You have a house fire. Run! Uh-oh. Oh my god, what's wrong with him? I'm a, I, I don't know what happened to those people. It might have been carbon monoxide, to be honest. Maybe it was a house fire. There's red hot things everywhere! Ah, what is this? Sir, I think it's a mole run. I don't know what's going on inside my uh -oh. house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedpost. Oh. I can't sleep at night knowing there's Bed something teeth. in my house. Help me, please. Uh, rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside bed sheets. Blankets or com comforters. Homeowners infested with bad teeth often report mild discomfort when sleeping, such as tickling or itching. More rarely, slimy acidic residue on their skin. Not directly harmful to humans given their brief sleeping schedule. However, they tend to gradually get sharper over time if left untreated, which can lead to infections and the open wounds they cause. To Rengrode. Okay, so it's not that. Um, raccoons? What if it's a another common hob? Do raccoons get inside walls though? Something's crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedpost. I can't sleep at night. Why would she why would it bite the bedpost though? I think she'd notice a raccoon. Let's go with mice. Termites as well, but she mentioned that there's a uh, teeth marks on her bedpost. Mice make sense being in the walls and having biting been biting the the bedpost. Hello, sir. It's me, the mouse. Right. Please hold. So it's just scratching the walls? House spider? What do house spiders sound like? I am a house spider. <laughs> Will commonly report sounds of scratching and flapping at night and sightings of small dry pellets. I think it's a bat! He said he's found no pellets or anything, right? We're gonna go with this and maybe, maybe it'll be that. <laughs> It's a bat calling me. He goes, there's a guy inside the house I live in. I'm at his wall scratching. Maybe it's just a clean bat. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! <laughs> Sir, that's not home security. That's a desk cob. <laughs> That's a desk hob, sir. What does he want me to say? Security. What you need to do is you need to leave breadcrumbs on the desk every night before going to bed. You will eat the breadcrumbs. It's a it's a desk hob, not Bob. It's a desk Bob, if you will. Give him the name Bob and his name could be Desk Bob. But for now, it's a desk hob. Guarant or it's a gopher. 
Sixty percent better than yesterday. Wait. Okay. So we wait. We have another video. What's this? These are houses that you can buy. 84K, one bedroom, one bath, thousand square feet. Then we have a two bedroom, three bathroom, 1600 square foot, $104,000. That's kind of nice though, I like that. Four beds, five baths, 2100 square feet, 120,000. Guys, you better not put in a deposit because I'm gonna, a civil authority has issued a missing person alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Berry County. This is a missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described as a be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person. You know, he's playing Fortnite in real life. Approximately 10, 25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local authorities. Wait, did that say five bedrooms, six bathrooms, 2,800 square feet for 12K? What happened in that house? Call the number? Uh, it's a 555 number, so I don't think it actually exists. Why can't I hear myself? That's kind of nice, though. I called the number and I heard my own voice. Honestly, I think my, my stream was playing in the background. That kind of scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> they played back my own stream to me. Dude, that would be so scary. Hold on, let me try again. I kind of I fucked it up. Oh, no. It doesn't exist. It just goes straight to call Linden. Hello, is the house still available? Please, let me get it. Hello, sir. It's me, a tick. Oh, it's Carolyn. Oh, no, even more. Wood secretions. Oh, shit. All I've read is got... This better be wood secretions. Hello, sir. You might have wood secretions. Run. Hey, yeah. Thanks a bunch for the terrible advice you sent me. My kid just fell through the frickin' wall from all the damage they dealt. We found out on our own what was going on. See you never. What? So it wasn't... Oh, it wasn't a bat. I think this is the bat guy. Shit. <laughs> a whistling fungus. A wine sprite. Substances known for consuming what? Oh my god, the calls are coming in faster now. There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. That's kind of terrifying. You might want to fucking run. Tease you think it's a stair slug? Dog sized slug. It's a stair slug. They're good for you. Wait, I'm pretty sure they are, right? Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs, but the slimy residue can leave behind can lead dangerous accidents and slippages. That's not that bad. Dude, I'd take a fucking stair slug. Are you a false bush? Hello? Do you have a false bush? My Quaid. Wife. Hello? She did it. I can't see her face. S sir. They're all gone. It's all gone. Uh, sir, this is a Wendy's. Mirror nymph? We haven't looked at that yet. Yeah, there we go. Known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and past buyers. They're generally small, faceless, voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror. Homeowners affected by their own comedy report not being able to recognize their own face. That seems like it. Our memory wisp. What the fuck is that? I probably should read the rest of these. Oh fuck, it was a memory wisp! Our invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home. Its homeowners infested with memory wisps are often reported missing pictures, photo albums, and enabled to remember the faces of the loved ones. It's a memory wisp! I think it was a memory wisp. Uh -oh. Oh, I ain't putting up with it no more. 
I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I'd have grabbed you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, what you gonna do? Is he talking to me? Uh, hi? I, uh, have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower, like, once a week for my skin health, what? so maybe that's it? We should just tell him that he needs to fucking shower more, the nasty pig. No, it's not a fracture hub. Let's go. You know what, sir? You have bed teeth. Let's tell him he has bed teeth and hopes he has bed bugs. How about that? Or maybe you're right and it's a goddamn fracture hub. <laughs> Raccoons! They've been hiding in my bed! <laughs> Turns out my mattress was filled with raccoons. What are these useless instructions you sent me? Oh, this guy. Sorry, dog, that's a memory wisp. You've been eaten. There's nothing we can do. Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall of my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks or maybe it's peeling. I'm not sure. Fracture hub! I have a cat named Whiskers and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. He knows how naughty that would be. I don't think he knows shit. He's a fucking cat. Or it's your cat scratching the wall. Either one. Hello? Do you have a cat? It might actually be a Bogart. Gary! You think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What? What kind of joke is that? <laughs> Uh oh. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably gonna cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house and you figure it out now. Uh oh. What did he say? Uh weird noises coming from the living room. But it's not something that involves leaving out a bowl of cream. Um he said living room, right? Leaving out a bowl of- So it's not a common hob. Because he said he did this and it didn't work. Maybe one of his pipes burst. I'm just gonna tell him it's this again. Like, bitch, take it serious. It's a common hob. Do you not hear me? A common hob. It's not a bogart. I would know. There's one that lives in my house. Guys, it's not a- Oh, it, it is a bogart. Because it's a fucking hob that transformed already. It metamorphosed. Ah, dang it! This is this is why you gotta just let me cook. You can't insert stuff from chat in my head. Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you for some time, and I must say that we have been rather disappointed. No. Here. Many of our callers' lives have been altered for the worse thanks to your negligence. But why? Your failure to treat your work here with the gravity it deserves has gravity? unfortunately forced us to make a very difficult choice. Am I getting fired? Continued employment at HSH. Effective immediately, your employment here has been terminated. No, I got fired. Wow, that's how bad I fucking did. What the hell is this? Oh my god. What the hell am I? Did I turn into a rat? What happened? What was that? I'm a man rat. 